for freshman retention and graduation rates. These conclusions come from the work of Amir Hajrasuliha. I'm Amir Hajrasuliha, and I recently graduated from the PhD program at the University of Utah in Metropolitan Planning Policy and Design. And what was the title of your dissertation? It was the morphology of the well-designed campus, campus design for sustainable and livable learning environment. Let's talk more specifically about the article, Campus Does Matter. This research is an attempt to evaluate the role of campus built environment on two major concerns of universities, student retention and graduation. You've isolated the campus design features, those things that are uh, controlled by the institution or can be controlled by, uh, can be contributed to by the institution and the design characteristics of the, of the campus from all of the other noise. The other influential factors. Other influential factors. Such as student selectivity. Right. For example, if one institution gets better students, then it's obvious to expect to have a higher uh, mm -hmm. freshman retention rate or higher graduation rates. So we have to control for other influential factors. In uh, higher education literature, there are some other proxy variables to measure that, for example, class size. Mm -hmm. And also um, the size of the institution, uh, yeah. how many um, undergrad students uh, they okay. have. And Another factor was the type of the institutions. Are they research one or research two? And I found that certain campus form dimensions, certain attributes, have positive significant impact on freshman retention rate and graduation rate, even after for controlling for other influential factors. So it's as if you took all those other factors into consideration yes. and eliminated their effect. Yes. And what you had left over, the residual impact, mm -hmm. was a function of on-campus living, the extent to which the campus was green, yes. and the extent to which it was a more urban environment as opposed to less urban environment. That's, that's true. So let's, let's talk about urbanism. Three factors, compactness, connectivity, and context, they were highly correlated to each other and they can com they could be conceptualized and combined in one bigger uh, variable which I can call, call which I call it degree of urbanism so, so let's take a look at those compactness what's the density of campus so I measured it uh, by looking at um, the mass space proportion of campuses and that's one uh, indicator. Another indicator was the level, the percentage of surface parking on campus. More surface parking, less compact. And more open space on campus, less compact. And another factor was the proximity of buildings together. Buildings becomes more uh, closer to each other, more compact. So I measured those variables, combined them together, and that becomes my compactness factor. Okay. Okay. And the next factor was? Connectivity. Okay. And it talks about uh, the connection of street network internally on campus and to its surrounding, to the surrounding of the campus, how well connected the campus is uh, to its surrounding. Okay. And the and third, third one, factor. the third factor was context, which is basically how urbanized the surrounding of campus is. I was particularly struck by the last paragraph of of one of your of the piece campus does matter. As I mentioned, I listed 100 recommendations, but I based on this evaluation, 
I could come up with the most important recommendations that can be uh, helpful for practitioners to focus on those aspects, those attributes, and those qualities of campus form. And what I found interesting is that if I want to have any practical recommendation, it, my top three recommendation basically, the first one would be um, reduce the surface parking. If we get reduce the surface parking areas on campus, it will increase the degree of urbanism, degree of greenness on campus. And that, that's going to be a huge impact. The second one uh, was increase uh, on-campus housing. I found that a uh, higher percentage of students living on campus has not, not only significant impact, but a strong impact on freshman retention rate and graduation rate. And the last recommendation depends on the campus setting. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about an urban campus, um, the third recommendation would be invest on greenness and not only greenness on the campus but also adjacent to campus. So for example one university can invest on local parks adjacent to and work with the city with that. Um, so how I measured greenness was not Basically, I was not measuring greenness on campus. I was measuring greenness in a quarter mile um, distance around in campus. So the idea was that uh, proximity is more important than ownership. So it doesn't matter that this like landscape belongs to the campus or not, as long as it's convenient for students to get access and use that space then it has to be um, accounted in this analysis. And uh, what about for what about for suburban and rural yes. rural campuses? So what what would your research suggest for them? For them, they have to invest on their adjacent uh, adjacent uh, areas, neighborhood especially investing on mixed-use development at the borders, making partnership with the city and community, and increase the level of Greek urbanism, they may not be able to uh, make an urban context for themselves, but by increasing the density and diversity and land use mix of the surrounding area, the degree of urbanism for their campus will increase. And, and that's and these three factors mm -hmm. on campus living, the extent of the urbanness mm -hmm. of the campus and its environment, its surroundings, and the greenness, yes. the absence of surface parking lots would be the easiest way to say mm -hmm. that, are correlated with higher freshman retention rates and with the success of those students receiving a degree. That's true. That's an astonishing finding. Absolutely. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank on you this so work. much. Appreciate it. This interview was recorded in Chicago December 14th, 2015. <music>